hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this particular video we will try to see that uh, how to make correction in the csi net application form and what are the corrections which are allowed and what are the steps you need to follow all right so this is the website this is csir nta website i'll give you link to reach out to this website in the description of this video all you have to do is click on the link and you will be taken to this page you have to scroll it down a little bit and you will be taken to this page which says correction for csir joint ugc net uh, june 2022 exam so you have to click on this particular link it says you will be redirected to external website so just press ok on this and now you will be taken to the website where uh, your application form is going to be selected as csi june 2022 exam application number will be there like you it won't be there you have to fill it and then you have to fill your password okay and after that you have to fill the security pin now in case if you have forgotten your application number that will be there in your email address also and it will be also there in your mobile phone okay so in that case you can do that if you forgot the password you can use forget uh, forgot password option to retrieve your password so that is one way which you can do that uh, now uh, let's quickly uh, like log in and let's uh, look upon that what happens in the next step so once you sign in uh, your current status will be shown over here so there are three steps registration form application form and fee payment it shows that the all of three steps are completed now remember that if your all these three steps are completed in that case only you can make any correction to the application form if these three steps are completed that means your application form is completely filled or it is successfully submitted and that's why you are now allowed to make some corrections over there okay so if in case you forgot to pay the fees or if you were not able to uh, like complete your application form in that case here it will show incomplete and you won't get any other further option so your application is terminated by now okay so now uh, this is the page and what you have to do in order to make any correction you have to go to this section which says correction in the application form particulars and here says press the below button to proceed further for correction so let's click on this particular button and now yeah uh, it says that online correction has started for csir june 2022 exam and you can edit your details if required so let us see that what are the things which are uh, like allowed to make changes once you click on this correction now here are some instructions which we will go through very quickly the first option says that correction in the application form is only one time activity that means you cannot make correction again and again you can only make correction once so make sure that when you are making these correction if let's say you want to make some correction in that case make sure you do it uh, once okay you cannot do it twice so make sure you do that very carefully so that you don't end up doing it wrong okay second statement says that correction will be allowed only to those candidates who have completed all the steps of application i already told you about it so if all the steps of application is completed then only you can make corrections third statement says that for correction kindly click the appropriate links provided in the left menu bar under application form steps okay and next says after correction revised information will be displayed on the confirmation page only after final application form submission the fees payment if applicable is you have to do and the last says that candidate is advised to take a printout of the revised confirmation page for the future references okay so what you have to do now in order to make correction you have to click i agree now one thing i just want to make very clear that it is not mandatory to make corrections for everyone if you think that there is something which you did mistake while filling the form or there is some mistake which you did while filling the form in that case only you have to make correction all right now let's proceed for the correction if you click over here now here are your all the options like here are your uh, contact details personal detail other details exam and center details qualification detail additional details document upload and final submit so it says that all the things are completed final submit is showing incomplete that is because i have not made any correction and i have not submitted yet okay that's why it is showing it now if i will check everything and if i will do final submit after that i won't be able to do any changes so let's see each and everything so what you have to do in case you want to make any changes in the contact detail click over here which is on the left side left panel okay click on this and you will be taken to the address section now here few things you won't be able to change like uh, for example you won't be able to change your email id you won't be able to change your uh, present address you won't be able to change your mobile number so these three things you won't be able to change okay so present address you cannot change 
and uh, a permanent address if you have made same as present address in that case also you won't be able to change and i guess if you have not made that in that case also you cannot make changes to the address and that is because if you make changes to the addresses uh, your exam centers are also going to get disturbed according to that right so that's what it is now do let me know if in in, in your case if you are able to make changes in the permanent address or present address do let me know in the comment section for my application form i cannot do that okay so in the contact detail i cannot make any changes uh, everything is restricted over here okay so i cannot make any changes next is personal details now in the personal detail i can make changes i can make change to my name to my uh, like to all my personal details okay all the things i can make changes so everything is allowed to make change date of birth also even i can change okay so if there is any uh, spelling mistake or anything if let's say you you fill the form under uh, some category and you want to change the category of yours that is also allowed okay you can do that as well okay next says other details here you might have selected that whether you uh, you are basically willing to share the Aadhaar number or not so that is one thing which you have to take care of i already mentioned it in the previous video where i explained how to fill the form so that part considering that you have to uh, select the option and you have to proceed so here also you can make changes okay you can make changes in this Aadhaar detail as well next exam and center details so in this exam and center details over here uh, yeah so over here again if you go to the center choices you will only get choices near to your permanent address okay uh, and present address you will get choices near to the present address so you won't be getting choices apart from your present address okay that means you cannot make changes in the permanent present and permanent addresses and if you can't change your addresses that is going to restrict your exam city as well you won't be able to change the exam cities as well okay so that is one thing which is over here so rest of the changes okay so here only options are there but uh, yeah you won't get all the union territories and all the states just the states near to your present address will be shown over okay next comes your qualification details so you can make changes in all your qualification details like all the options are open to make changes you can make change in all of them okay anything you can make change so in correction window you can make change in your percentage in your addresses in your uh, you know in the in uh, in all the things you can make changes actually just uh, your initial contact detail is something which is which is not allowed to change in this correction window next comes your additional detail uh, here they ask the, about your mind whether you belong to minority or not then they ask whether you are already a phd student or not so all those things are there in case if you want to make any changes you can do that next comes your document upload so here are your photograph and signature which you might have uploaded while filling the form so those are over here and if you have if you belong to a particular category you would have also uploaded your category certificate so all those things just check it out if it is fine you don't have to make any change if you want to make any change you can do that that is allowed now okay and at the end you have final submit so that will come once you click on final submit on the left panel here will be the complete uh, application form you just have to scroll down down and down and at the end it will say that declaration will be there and you have to check the particulars basically that whether all these things are correct or not once you uh, once you make the you know once you make all these checks then in that case then you have to select that you agree you declare that you have read and understood everything and then you have to do final submission don't do this final submission in hurry this is only uh, like if you only like once you have done this final submission you cannot make any changes in the application form so do it with lot of uh, you know carefulness be very careful while filling the form don't make mistakes further whatever mistakes you have did apart from your contact detail you can change the mistakes you can rectify your mistake and then you will be taken back to the uh, to the home page where again all the status and everything will be shown over here all right so this is how you have to make changes or you have to make corrections in the application form these are the corrections which were allowed i already informed you i hope you understood it well if there is any doubt if you want to ask anything you can ask that in the comment section below and that's it from my side thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys, so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category 
and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much